Hello everyone and welcome back. This is TechMedic. Thank you for joining me today and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at my base inside of Nightingale. So here's a pretty big picture of what I'm located. I'm on top of some sort of mountain hill at the moment and of course it was very cool looking but I had to go ahead and take down all the trees. But with that being said, my base is built off of two tile sets. That is the pagoda for the foundation and the two door for the walls and roofs. And I did since my farming video go ahead and get... A little station created right in the middle for sheltered bonus as well as cultivation you can get these bonuses by only using two pillars if you use four pillars it's going to consider it as an invisible wall and it'll go ahead and uh, forgo that cultivation buff which reduces 10 seconds of crafting time off of those seed creations so let's go ahead and take a look inside everything in here has been placed uniformly and of course close to the crafting stations themselves so that means all these augmentations are taking effect to provide decor recipes and if you're wondering how to build storage on a utilitarian shelf you have to build a trunk at the base use it as a step ladder and then you can start from the top and go down and place all of your chests the last chest in the bottom is not going to be uh, tucked away as far as you want it so it's pretty limited at the moment as for lighting, we're utilizing a lot of candles in here because candles provide the decrease in crafting time. And of course, the scones and things like that are going to be snappable points on the wall. Unfortunately, we cannot place them as high as we want or in unique locations. The same thing is said for the chandeliers. And like I said, there's going to be a lot of clipping inside of the house itself. I don't know why this is determined as an outside area. Hopefully they can work on the system so that it registers as internal and we don't have this uh, in a side of our base. As you can see here, it is clear for this pathway, but then we have a little chunk right there. So moving on from the focus, enchanting, cooking area, we have our workshop area. Again, keep in mind all the augmentations are close nearby for tools, weapons, and ammunition. And then of course I've got some specialty chests over here for each ammunition type inside of the game. And then of course all the materials that I'll need to in order to go ahead and smelt parts and or weapons and cut gems as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at our next location. The next location is going to be all for lumber and uh, what is it stone cutting. So stone cutting will be here. Creating all those ceramics and things like that that you're going to need in order to go ahead and produce this kind of foundation as well as the shingles that are required for the roof itself. So the last area that we're going to go ahead and take a look at, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to be our bedroom slash tanning and clothing area. So this place is going to be set up for a lot of different use to graft all those hides as well as to get all our threads and fabrics and things like that. And if you want to go ahead and exit out of the screenshot mode, you can hit F4. That'll bring you back and get a little bit of sleep right here. And we're back. So the way I organize things is by what is needed in the actual area itself, just like the augmentations. So as you can see here, I've got bones, I've got threads, I've got hides and fabled hides chitin i've got refined fibers as well as fibers that still need to be refined and then of course i've got all these kind of random items i do not know what these are used for at the moment but you can go ahead and take this bound icker and you can grind it into a spice and use it for cooking and i actually need to eat something so let's go ahead and eat some surf and turf real quick and put that away so down here, of course, you know, everything that we need in order to go ahead and create infusions, enchants, and the like, we can go ahead and toss in here. These are just things that I found. And then, of course, we've got all our printing materials, paper, ink, foil, stuff like that, glass, baubles, and uh, human seals, nature seals, healing potions, any potion that does any kind of status effect, I go ahead and group it together. And then, of course, for potion creation, you're going to need a lot of flowers. And then this box is mainly for the oils for aromatics and marinades. And, of course, glass bottles so that you can go ahead and create these items. 
And then over here is vegetables as well as some berries and some meat that we have gained. You're going to use bones for a lot of broth, so save those. Then, of course, our spices like we we're talking about, the bound itcher, as well as salt. And then, of course, we've got our creepy little person looking at us all the time. Of course, our upgrade station that we have so that we can upgrade things to epic quality. And everything's going to need fuel, so I have this box kind of centralized for everything. And then, of course, all our stone products, counterweights, things like that. And then, of course, all our lumbers. This did get an update, the last patch, to add different icons. We are utilizing a lot of the Nightingale placeholder icons for a lot of items inside of the game. And I do hope that some of the unique gems get their own icon instead of sharing one with Amethyst. And then, of course, we've got all our precious metals so that we can go ahead and create elemental ammunition. I did go ahead and farm a bunch of this stuff up because... I believe that sometime in the future, ammunition is going to get a bonus from the range damage on ingots themselves. And then, of course, every other ingot that we need for crafting in general that is not a pale ingot that is dropped. So, like all these Lacunas ingots, Advanced Lacunas Bombardier, as well as the uh, Kyrosphere, Kyrosiphon ingots, things like that. And then, of course, all our ammunition boxes and the like. So, this has been a short tour of my base. I hope you guys like it and it gives you guys some ideas on how to place certain things as well as storage. And if you made it this far in the video, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And we'll see you all in the next one. Have a nice day.